Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tania and I film all kinds of girly beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. If that's something you're into, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I was sitting here about to take my makeup off. It's nighttime. I had a very, very eventful day today. Editing my reel I did for today, which was uh, me going into Sephora and just like kind of showing you guys my recommendations, things that I'm actually wanting for the sale. And then I realized why don't I just make a YouTube video, edit it, and get it up quickly tonight before this house. So here I am with all of my recommendations of items that I have, that I own, that I truly recommend. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys what is on my wish list and what is in my cart for the Sephora sale. Okay, I'm not going to ramble. There's a lot of products to get through. Let's get started. Also, I'm posting this on my main channel. The reason I didn't want to post this to my makeup channel is because this is not only makeup products. I am showing you guys everything from hair care to fragrances to makeup to skincare. I definitely, definitely want to encourage you guys to check out my makeup channel if you want to see any of the makeup products in this video in action. Rambling and explaining that, let's get into it because there's quite a bit. I have Sephora shopping bags. Why do I still have these shopping bags? I don't ask. Um, sometimes I keep shopping bags using them as organizers for like my um kind of like videos i need to do for my makeup channel so that's why i have so many sephora bags just laying around anyway let me do a thumbnail I just realize if you saw the thumbnail it looks like i went hella shopping at sephora but these are all just products that i already had being this new gisu lip oil this literally released this last week i just wanted to get it as soon as possible so i can do a reel show content i just really wanted it and i didn't want it to sell out so look at this it's so glittery all of the products you're gonna see here are like girly girl essentials everything's so aesthetically pleasing i think it's gonna look cute on your vanity but are also products that i use religiously obviously not this because i just got it but some of the other products which i will talk about lip oils this one or even the original honey one which i think i also put in here First, i wasn't that impressed with these the more i use the oil the more i realize its effects it basically it has honey in it and it leaves your lips feeling super soft i'm really excited and very curious about what this watermelon infused one is going to be like i have lip products galore so i picked up this summer fridays um in birthday cake i needed to try it so i had the other like pink one it got stolen got stolen here in la out of my bag like i don't even know how it's definitely it definitely got stolen anyway i picked this one up because i really liked it i don't know what it is i know it's just like a lip balm but when i saw this in store it's like glittery so i just needed to get it and i do recommend the summer friday lip balms the experience of this lip balm is just luxurious i know it's a lip balm so it's like really girl but i don't know what it is with the summer friday lip balms if you know you know like if you try them you know but they just have such a soft feel on the lips and this one's glittery i don't know if it's gonna pick up it smells like literal cake batter it smells so nice another gloss i'm going to recommend you guys over and over and over again this entire year because i'm obsessed are these new anastasia glosses cotton candy is my favorite because it's just the most beautiful baby pink this looks so stunning if you guys want to see this applied and stuff i did use this on my makeup channel i picked up more colors of these because i am obsessed with this formula i got guava which is like a more peachy nude I picked up the color cantaloupe and the color peachy nude to the other ones cantaloupe is definitely more peachy nude like more coral i guess oh yeah cantaloupe has glitters in it <laughs> cantaloupe has glitters and then i got peachy nude which is like a nude this one's the one that reminds me of peach stock by mac i'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of them and show you guys what that looks like here we have peachy nude here we have cantaloupe and then we have guava and then we have cotton candy at the top cotton candy really is that girl somebody said that in my comment section now it's stuck in my head on instagram because cotton candy really is that girl but all of them are so beautiful this right here is what you'll catch on my lips literally all the time now that we're talking about lip gloss i do want to mention another favorite that i've been using for about a year now and it's worth picking up this is turkish delight by nars and i love this i'm going to show you guys what it looks like next to cotton candy really a more translucent very light pale baby pink cotton candy is definitely more pink so you can see the difference here we have 
Turkish Delight on top and then we have Canto or Kind Candy on bottom. You guys have seen this. So many of you guys ran and bought this when I showed you guys this from the Sephora sale last year and with good reason because it's just gorgeous. Did pick up lip liners from Anastasia. Pleasantly surprised with the quality of these so I did want to recommend them. I got Deep Taupe and I got dusty rose dusty rose is like your lips but better and deep taupe gives a little bit of depth so you can do a little bit of contouring to the lip i know i like the formula because i've been using deep taupe daily and i love deep taupe i think you guys if you like my lip combos get these lip liners because these are the kind of shades and colors that i gravitate towards and i love that formula i think i was stuck on mac lip liners forever with good reason they're really really good but i'm happy to find like new lip liners because sometimes mac is out of stock it's not at sephora or it's not in the shopping center i'm in i will usually pick up mac if i'm near an ulta but if i'm in a sephora i would like to have like an option there as well so, a ysl lippy we're getting into some luxury here so, i really do recommend ysl lipsticks i'm wearing this one this particular one right now this is in the color number 44 this is a rouge velouped shine this is the prettiest everyday pink it's like not too pink it gives pink but it's not like bright barbie pink I feel like for very many skin tones this is extremely wearable and these last on the lips even though they're shiny they last on the lips unless you eat off, of course, I mean, because they're shiny. But they leave such a pretty color behind as well. And I've always had a love for YSL lipsticks. I used to collect these when I traveled as souvenirs. also want to recommend their uh, candy glaze ones. I just tried those out in like a makeup video. So I think they're in a different bin. <laughs> but yes, the candy glaze lipsticks are chef's kiss if you want a glossy lipstick. That one's got you covered, sis. Charlotte Tilbury did release new pink lipstick, like a new line. My absolute favorite one was Red Carpet Pink. And I am obsessed with this pink. So wearable and it's still pink, but it's just like a wearable pink. You no, know, it's not going to give you like washed out pink. It's just really, really flattering, really, really pretty. I have not used that in a video yet, so... I'm gonna keep that in mind so you can use it in one of my makeup videos that is upcoming. I have to talk about this. I think this is the last lip product. Lots of lip products. You have lots to choose from in this video. I have to talk about this Lip Maximizer by Dior. This is one of my favorite lip plumpers, lip products. Nothing quite beats the experience of this Lip Maximizer for some reason for me. I don't know why. I am thinking of trying a new one from Charlotte Tilbury, which I will show you guys at the end. But so far, this one has been my favorite that I've used just like in general from all the lip plumpers I have used. I think it's well worth the price. This has also lasted me a really long time because you only need a really little bit and it actually lasts on your lips and doesn't wear off as quickly as other ones. I think we're going to get into some hair product. This new shampoo I've been using. This is an anti-dandruff shampoo. I've used this a total of three times now and I have seen a huge improvement in my scalp and it's pretty impressive. I've tried everything. I've tried head and shoulders. I've tried scalp scrubs. I have very, very fine hair on top of it. It gets frizzy easily and it's really hard to get my scalp super clean for some reason because I have like drier hair but like oily scalp it's like a really weird combination and this has honestly really helped my oily dandruff prone scalp a lot I actually feel like my scalp is clean with this it also smells amazing it smells like a field of flowers for me I really like this shampoo so far again I've used it three times I'm going to continue to use it hopefully give you guys an in-depth review but if you deal with like severe or like you deal with dandruff I really think this is worth a shot for you to try so the next thing i want to recommend is this as i've told you guys i have drier ends and i just spray this on my ends and it just brings them back to life it's so soft and shiny this product is just amazing i think this is like viral anyway so you guys already know this is amazing a lot of people already love this so this is the extra strength dream coat it's an anti-frizz treatment as i told you guys i have drier ends and it's frizzy so this is amazing this works wonders for me and it's a great in between effect when my scalp is like getting oily but my my root my ends are dry instead of putting like an oil everywhere and making everything super oily like i will just spray this on my ends and i will spray dry shampoo on my scalp and we call it a day it works well get compliments when i put this in my hair everybody's like oh your hair smells nice or you smell really nice and it's usually the days i wear this so this is a gesu or gesu i hope i'm pronouncing that right their honey infused hair perfume this is their floral edition one they do have an original one i do like them both i think if you like florally really 
like strong honey floral scent you'll like this if you want more of a fresh scent I would go for the original one. Hair perfumes are amazing and they it actually lasts in your hair. People can smell it when you walk by. It's so nice. I've never really owned a hair perfume, to be honest. I always have just like braid dry shampoo or something. This just works so well without drying out my ends. Really like it. Continue on to some skincare. I have one of my all-time favorites. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This gets my makeup off so good. I have to I have to mention this. They have a pink one, guys. It's a rose one and that is in, on my that's in my cart like I want the pink one okay you know me this is cute and everything but if it can be pink it's it's better like if I can have it in my favorite color I'm gonna have it in my favorite color so I'm going to link both of them below for the girlies that want the regular one and the girlies that want the rose one okay, next I picked up this new product from Laneige and or Laneige. This is their new Bouncy and Firm Sleeping Mask. I have used this one time and it felt super nice. I just think this product is worth trying out as an overnight sleep mask. I feel like we have all been stuck on the Glow Recipe one for a while, which is a great one and I've recommended that one in the past. I'm excited to try a new one. If you want to try a new one with me, I recommend this one. Um, obviously, I can't give you a full review, so buy at your own discretion, but I had to mention that I did pick this up. And I did want to include it in this video in case you're not aware that there's a cute new pink skincare mask from Laneige. So let's talk about fragrance. I actually am so proud of myself that I didn't fill up this bag with fragrances because I love fragrances. I literally picked my go-tos that I'm going to just right now and I'm going to share them with you guys because they're amazing. So the first one being, this is my new That Girl fragrance. This is the Miss Dior perfume. I cannot describe the feminine beautiful sexy sweet vibes that this gives this is just a everything in one fragrance for me like i would wear this for day for night i get so many compliments wearing this i did get this at, the, at a dior event when this launched they did engrave my name on it so it's really nice of them to do that for me really love that but this smells divine I regret not getting the larger bottle. I cannot believe how incredible that this smells. You guys just have to try it out for yourself. I'm gonna just link it. I promise you guys, you will not regret this purchase. This smells insane. Like, I am in love with this perfume. That is my new That Girl perfume, okay? Okay, another one I purchased. At first, I did not purchase this. The bottle is so cute. I was tempted, but I went in Sephora, smelled it, was not that impressed, and then I visited my friend, wore it because she had it there, and I was like, can I, you know what, let me just try to wear it because I'm obsessed with the bottle. So the whole week, I wore it, and I was in love with how this mixes with my body chemistry personally. If woodsy, musky scents pull sweet on you, you will absolutely love this. I cannot tell you guys how impressive this is. Like, when you smell it straight in the bottle or on paper, it doesn't give, you know? Like, it's just, like, basic. But once you spray it on yourself with your body chemistry, again, if you, musky scents pull sweet on you it's divine this smells so expensive and luxurious but it gives love shack fancy in a way like it's giving like running through a field of flowers <laughs> vibes but so good this is a great spring scent this does pull sweeter on me like a sweet floral keep that in mind that it has like a sweet fresh floral smell to it it's a great everyday type of fragrance I wouldn't pick this up for a nighttime i wouldn't say but i would definitely wear this brunch with the girls a shopping date to go to the grocery store <laughs> it's just a nice scent it smells really nice. It smells like you showered. It really did your everything shower is the best way I can describe that perfume. It would not be me if I did not recommend this, okay? I know we have heard of this and heard of this and heard of this and heard of this. But if you have not yet had the chance to try it, Sephora Savings Event is the time to try it. Sol de Janeiro, 68, okay? It smells really intoxicatingly sweet though. If you do not love really sweet fragrances, you can pass on this. But if you do love really sweet fragrances, like... My go-to in high school was Prada Candy, so that'll tell you. I like sweetness. Reminds me a lot of my favorite fragrance that I have loved for years, which is Burberry Her. I'm not mentioning Burberry Her in this video because I feel like I have about tired you guys out with that. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. But if you want two more recommendations, Burberry Her, Prada Paradox. I forgot to mention a hair product, you guys. Okay, so for hair, I also have this Gisu Honey Infused Leave-In Conditioner. I use this out of the shower when my hair is wet. And I also use this to bring my ends back to life. It smells so nice. Like, it just smells so clean and just 
it makes your hair smell nice. I don't know how else to explain it. This with the dandruff shampoo out of the shower makes my hair smell so clean. Like, I really love that really clean hair smell. And obviously, the bottle is super cute. So, you know, the reason I bought it. But I ended up really liking it. This is a Glossier hand cream. I have to mention this because I keep this in my purse. And it has been a godsend to use. Especially if I forgot forget to put lotion on my legs. It smells so nice. And it doesn't interfere with, like, my perfume. It just smells nice with any fragrance that I put on. So I thought it was, like, worth mentioning. This little... It's a hand lotion but I'll put it on my legs. I don't care. It's just it's a purse lotion to me Speaking of Glossier, I will start with some priming Type of products. I guess you could consider these skincare. So maybe I should have mentioned them in that category I don't know this video is now all over the place. Sorry about that But it's this Glossier future do oil serum hybrid I do have normal to dry skin leaning a lot more on the dry side So if you're oily, I don't know about this for you But if you have drier skin or if you just want to look glowy to the gods like so glowy you'll love this as i said it's an oil serum hybrid and this makes my skin look incredible i use this bean essence that's like korean and then i put this with it and oh my goodness my skin looks just like, like juicy and so like healthy sometimes i won't even wear makeup and i'll just like wear this and it just looks so nice and i look so like hydrated this is like my favorite thing i picked up from the glossier store i picked up other things but that right there is it's the holy grail so i also want to recommend you guys this glowy makeup serum by laneige i don't know laneige is just killing it but i really like the way that this makes my skin feel this one and the natasha denona are so good this is just what i'm using lately and the bottle is so cute and pink i mean it looks so nice sitting on your vanity and it actually makes your skin feel super soft like glass skin before your makeup so i really love products like this and i like it whenever they're packaged cute and i think all of us that are on this channel can agree that's kind of why you're on this channel right because you know it's it's the pink girly vibes here for us so i want to recommend you guys a holy grail concealer i cannot live without this concealer this is a natasha denona high glam concealer i use the shade p2 this it works just amazing I, one of my biggest skin concerns is my under eyes and i need to find a good concealer that corrects them brightens this does just that. I really, really love this. I feel like this is good for even no makeup makeup days. You know what I'm talking about? Because it looks so soft on the skin and it's nearly creaseless. I picked up this Rare Beauty brow pencil and I have not looked back at any other brow pencil. The packaging's so sleek. It's like it's slightly heavy. I don't know. It's like made of like metal or something. I don't know what it's made of, but the experience of the application of this is so nice. My favorite part is that this is like an angled like a you know that kind of tip but it's small like it's like a micro tip Brands have made this in the past they make it like a really big product you know so then when you put it on it's like drawing with a crayon no this is like ultra fine you can draw brush hairs like not brush hairs hair strokes with this next i have a highlighter this is by Givenchy or Givenchy or however you want to pronounce it this is in 10 organza i don't know if this is still available but if it is you should get it this is stunning like trust just trust me this is gorgeous and it doesn't give like light bulb but it's like glowy if you know what i mean and it's so finely milled it just looks so nice doesn't accentuate pores it's really beautiful as well as this dior one um, in case you don't find the other one. Me, a nice finely milled highlighter is what I go to. I don't want anything accentuating pores. I don't want anything to make me look like a light bulb or like too crazy. But I want it to have that sheen when the sun touches my face or the lights at nighttime. Like that's what I want. I want to turn and like it gives my side profile a healthy glowy appearance. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's what I'm into. So if you're into that, you'll love either of these highlighters. I feel like it's almost criminal not to talk about this. So we're going to talk about this next. The new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blushes. Okay, I'm not going to swatch these because I am waiting to do some content with these. But I swatched all of these in stores. Let me tell you guys, it is worth it. These are absolutely stunning. They're just beautiful this one is in the color joy i got four different colors i got joy i got happy i got hope and i got cheer 
and these are my four favorite for like my medium complexion but uh, all of them are just stunning they're gorgeous so uh, yeah it's criminal not to talk about these pick these up during the sale if they're available talk about setting powder i narrowed it down to my two holy grails i am telling you guys this was difficult i try a lot of makeup but i always find myself reaching for these so the first one is the huda beauty cherry blossom cake powder i do have just this tiny one i plan on getting the full size next because i genuinely adore this girl just get a huda beauty powder okay just trust just get it the other powder i love tilbury airbrush plus finish i get the number one fair pale i know that's not my color okay i have number two as well but number two is more like a little touch-up powder for me this right here brightens underneath my eyes so flawlessly i literally put it just in this area right here and i blend it and it just it gives that nice brightening effect that no other powder has ever been able to give me there is nothing that has or can replace this for me i have not found anything yet if anything let me know i'd love to try it but for now i'm super happy with this and i don't think this is going anywhere time soon if you don't believe that it's loved just look at it so that's all you need to know i have to talk about this because i have been in love with it i still can't find the lid but this is a huda beauty foundation stick in nutmeg i use this to contour how emollient that this is how nice it is it doesn't wither away it's beautiful and i'm wearing it today i'm wearing a lot of these products today actually but that as a contouring stick you need it you need it this has been my go-to if you don't believe that it's loved all you have to do is look at it just look at it i love that okay. lastly is the last step of your makeup routine and it is a setting spray it's fairly new so i feel a little weird being this obsessed with it already i've only used it for about a week but i have been i used a different one before this i just finished it let me show you no shade at patrick tall i like this enough to finish it obviously but when i tried this one i'm gonna be honest i like this more it gives more of a glowy like nice like i just want to like spray it so i can describe it i don't even think camera will capture it but it makes your skin look like skin again after you've put on powder but in a dewy not too dewy but like skin like satin way and it's supposed to grip your makeup onto your face again i've only tried this for a week and that day i put this on it did last my makeup did last really well so i don't know it could have been this could have been everything else who knows but i love the way that this makes my complexion look after makeup now i have my phone and we're gonna go through my sephora card the overlaying right here the products and i'm gonna tell you guys why i am lusting after these why i want them why they're in my cart all that good stuff starting off with the oribe serene scalp balancing conditioner i think the answer is obvious here i like the shampoo so i want to try the conditioner next i have a rare beauty positive light silky touch highlighter in the color exhilarate the reason this is in my cart is i went over to my friend amy who's a makeup artist i went to her studio she put this on my face we were just messing around in makeup and i fell in love that's in my cart because of that next thing i have is the dior forever glow maximizer longwear liquid Liquid highlighter in number 11 pink i went in stores and swatched this and let me tell you guys it is so worth it this one and the other one color gold oh my god they're just beautiful i would add both to my cart but i have a lot of things in my cart so i decided to settle for just the pink one yes those dior highlighting things giving like Sab sabrina carpenter blush vibes that glowy luminous like cheek Not too much like it just looks wet you know what i mean that's what that gives i have the gucci broom the beauty beauty mist <laughs> so it's basically a, another setting spray i sprayed this in stores and i really loved how it smelled it was so fine and it felt so nice like it was a whole experience that's why this is in my cart because i really want to try it like try it try it oh the next thing i have is the new Too faced chocolate soleil melting bronzing and sculpting stick i love trying a good cream sculpting stick bronzing stick whatever you call it so that's why that's in my cart no other reason besides that piqued my interest because i like that kind of product next thing i have is the gucci hydrating silk priming serum listen if you're gonna buy gucci dior or any luxury makeup product the saving cell event is when to do it so i've always wanted to try this primer i've heard a couple of people talk about it and i just want to try it for that reason i have the charlotte tilbury charlotte's magic moisturizing heroes the reason why i have this it's not just because the packaging is cute and has a bow which that's 
part of it but also because i love the magic cream i had a few from an event i went to it ran out I need to re-up but also the, the new moisturizer she came out with a water cream really want to try that water cream just because i already love her magic cream then the last thing i have in my car is the charlotte tilbury plumping gloss thing all over late here the packaging is just too cute for words i swatched it in store though and the colors were super pretty so I really want to try at least one of these, so I have one of these added to my car. I love a good plumping gloss. As I told you guys, the Dior is my favorite, but I'm looking to try and find another potentially, so I think I'm going to go ahead and snatch that. All right, guys, that is everything for my Sephora cell recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below if you'll be shopping any of these products or if you added any of these to your cart or if you have any recommendations for me from Sephora. All right, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.